Hello. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting exponential equation. We have k to the power of log of 2k and this equals 5. We are going to solve for the values of k that will satisfy this equation. So the first step is for us to take the log of both sides of this equation. We have k to the power of log of 2k and this equals log of 5. As usual, the exponent here will come behind this. We have log of 2k times we have log of k and this equals log of 5. Now, if you remember this identity, if you have log of a times n, this equals log of a plus log of n. So let's go ahead and apply this identity right here. We are going to have log of 2 plus log of k and this will multiply log of k and this equals log of 5. So the next thing we are going to do is we can say let log of k equals x. Let's try and reduce this equation. So that means we are going to have log of 2 plus x and this will multiply x and this equals log of 5. So we proceed. If we expand this bracket, we are going to have x log of 2 plus x squared equals log of 5. So let's go ahead and rearrange this equation. So we are going to have x squared plus x log of 2. Then we are going to have minus log of 5 and this equals 0. This becomes a quadratic equation. I believe some of you did the first time I've seen this kind of quadratic equation. So as usual, we have x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And from this quadratic equation, a remains 1. That is the coefficient of x squared. b equals what well, we have here, the coefficient of x, that is log of 2. And c equals the constant here, that is negative log of 5. So let's go ahead and insert all those things into what we have here. We have x equals negative b. We have negative log of 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared. That means we are going to have log of 2 power 2 minus 4ac. We are going to have 4 into 1 into negative log of 5. And everything here. We are going to have divided by 2, that is 2 times 1. So we go ahead, we have x equals negative log of 2 plus or minus. We have the square root of log of 2 power 2. Then we have, this will give us plus 4 times log of 5. And we have this divided by 2. So at this point, we can make use of our discriminant. We have discriminant equals, remember, it is b squared minus 4ac. So at this point, this becomes our discriminant because we have already used the formula inside of this square root. So that means our discriminant equals log of 2 to the power of 2. Then we have plus 4 log of 5. That becomes our discriminant. So what next? We can have Discriminant equals log of 2 to the power of 2. Then we can have plus 4. Instead of this log of 5, we can have log of 5 equals log of 10 divided by 2, which simply means we can have it as log of 10 minus log of 2. So this becomes log of 5 using the identity of log. Then we have 4 into log of 10 minus log of 2. So we proceed. That means we have discriminant equals log of 2 to the power of 2. Then we have, let's multiply this out, plus 4 times log of 10. 
then we have minus 4 times log of 2. And remember, all these are to the base of 10, and this to the base of 10. So log of 10 to the base of 10 is 1. That means 4 times 1 is 4. So we have discriminant equals log of 2 to the power of 2. Then we have minus 4 log of 2. Then we have plus this is 1. That is 1 times 4, and we have 4. So what next? Our discriminant can become, we can have it as log of 2 minus 2 all to the power of 2. So if you expand this, we are going to have what we have here. So we are going to insert this into the quadratic formula. So instead of this, we are going to insert log of 2 minus 2 all to the power of 2. We are going to insert this. So that means our x, we have x simply equals negative log of 2 plus or minus. Then we insert instead of this discriminant here, we have the square root. We are going to insert this. We have square root of log of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2. And everything here, we are going to divide it by 2. So we have x equals negative log of 2 plus or minus. The square root here will be cancelled by the square here. We have log of 2 minus 2. And this is divided by 2. So we are going to have x equals negative log of 2 plus log of 2 minus 2, all divided by 2, or negative log of 2. If we use this to multiply this, we are going to have minus log of 2. Then if you use this to multiply this, negative 2, we are going to have plus 2, and we have divided by 2. So that means we have x equals, this will cancel this, we have negative 2 divided by 2. Or this we are going to have negative 2 log of 2 plus 2 divided by 2. So that means we are going to have x equals negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Or we can divide everything by 2, we are going to have negative log of 2 plus 1. So let's rearrange everything. So therefore, x equals negative 1 or 1 minus log of 2. Now that is not all. Recall. Recall that we had x equals log of k. Can you remember? Let me get us there. See it here. So from here we are going to solve for k. If x equals log of k, so when x equals negative 1, that means we are going to have negative 1 equals log of k. And from here, in order to solve for k, we are going to have k equals 10 to the power of negative 1, which equals 1 over 10. This is one of the identities of log, so we made use of it, and these are one of the values for k. The next one is when k equals this, so let's go ahead and do that. So let me make a space here. For this one here, we are going to have x equals log of k as well, and in this case, x equals 1 minus log of 2 equals log of k. So what do we do? This is 1. So we can as well replace this. We can have log of 10. Then we have minus log of 2 equals log of k. 
so from here we make use of this identity we can have log of 10 divided by 2 equals log of k so what do we have next from here we are going to have log of 5 equals log of k so if log of 5 equals log of k that means k equals 5 so you have two solutions for k we have k equals 1 over 10 and we have k equals 5 